post-operative experience, thyroid and parathyroid surgery. After the surgery, the patient is transferred to the post-anesthesia unit for monitoring for 3 to 4 hours before discharge from the hospital or before admission to a hospital floor. The nurse will reconcile and educate the patient, with the medications to be taken at home. The office of the surgeon will set up a post-operative appointment. Diet will start with ice chips, then soft diet and eventually to regular diet. If the patient cannot tolerate regular diet due to sore throat or tightening of the neck while swallowing, soft mechanical diet is acceptable until the patient tolerates regular food. We encourage early form of physical activities, such as transferring to the chair, and walking around the unit. Restrictions No bending and lifting of objects more than 10 pounds for 10 to 14 days. No coughing. If coughing cannot be avoided, please press a soft cloth against the neck, while coughing to lessen the pressure buildup in the area. No strenuous activity for 10 to 14 days. No driving while on narcotics. Showering can be started on the next day, with the nozzle of the shower at the back and letting the water drip. Be careful not to get your incision wet. However, on the third day, you may shower normally. The patient may soak the incision with soap, so that the flakes from the glue will soften and will fall off on its own, approximately by the end of the week after surgery. If admitted, discharge usually takes place at noon on the following day. Overnight. We check your calcium level to determine need for calcium and vitamin D supplements to be taken at home, to prevent numbness and tingling of the mouth, fingertips and toes. Unless specified in the order when to discontinue the calcium and vitamin D supplement, the nurse practitioner will call to request for blood work and may wean the patient from the supplement. Usual Problems After Surgery Sore throat may improve with chloroseptic spray, lozenges, and gargling antiseptic mouth wash. Muscle soreness may improve with light exercises of the neck and shoulders, and pain medications. For tingling, numbness and muscle cramps of the fingers and toes, you should inform the NP. When the flakes from the glue have fallen off completely from the incision site, apply vitamin E ointment or cocoa butter lotion, twice a day with a gentle massage, so that the swelling around the area will subside faster. The swelling would take two to three months to subside completely. Avoid sun exposure as much as possible to prevent the incision from darkening. When out under the sun, use a sunblock lotion and cover the incision. For hoarseness of the voice and feeling of tingling and numbness of the mouth, fingertips and toes. Please inform the nurse practitioner. For any other non-emergent questions, contact the nurse practitioner. For any emergent questions, like sudden bulging of the neck causing problems with breathing and swallowing, please call the emergency hotline. Thank you.